Mmm. Howdy, partners. Sit a while, let your saddle cool. I'm gonna talk to you about cowboy cards. Cowboy girl. I grew up dreaming of being a cowboy, living the cowboy way, pursuing the life of my high riding heroes. I burned up my childhood days. I learned all the rules of a modern day drifter. Don't you hold on to nothing too long. Take what you need from the ladies and leave them with the words of an old country song. Thank you, Willie. Cowboy chords are just another term for uh, first position chords, and there's been some talk about them on various forums, whether the term cowboy, um, guitar, cowboy chords is a derisive or um, an explanatory, descriptive uh, term. Now here in the UK, calling someone a cowboy uh, is an implication that their work is shoddy. Oh, uh, he's a cowboy plumber, he's a cowboy builder, means um, that his work is not going to be very good and not going to last. Uh, so that's my instant reaction, being, um, being told that I play cowboy chords. But there's a reason. I play largely flat top guitars, which has sustain and and so those first position chords kind of links up to that caged C A G E D uh, notion C A G E and D as how those chords shapes not chords shapes can be used in different places to give us different uh, uh, different chords. So that, for instance, is an E chord. But if I bar it, it's an E shape, but it's an F chord. It's a G chord. It's an A chord, etc. All right. Um, if I make the shape of a C here. That's fine, but if I take it up here and I bar it there, it's an E chord or an E flat. Um, and the same goes on. Uh, that shape is a D there, so we call it a D chord, but up here it's a G, up here it's a B, yeah? Uh, of course, that's your root. Uh, so all of these are shapes. We tend to play first position. C it, we, in, in a C shape will give you a C but if you move it up it will give you a different chord but using the same shape and adjustments. The funny thing is people that dress up like cowboys don't tend to play cowboy chords. They'll tend to play a little bit like this and this is where I make a fool of myself. Western swing, influences from jazz, uh, and very popular in the probably the twenties up to the forties, fifties, uh, but uh, now still popular. Look at um, uh, Ranger Doug in the um, uh, the Riders in the Sky, and um, Whit Smith in the Hot Club of Cowtown. Uh, all playing in the style that was really first seen with people like Bob Wills and things like that. Excellent styles, but they're using a different sort of guitar for a different effect. The flat top guitar had sustain, but the arch top guitar used in this compact particularly didn't have sustain so much, but it had impact and percussive.
etc. Right? I really cannot play in that style. But that's not the point. My playing is not the point. The style is. Um, so people that are used to playing in styles where they're barring and a lot of electric players with um, with very thin strings on their fenders and things like that tend to look as hard. Playing first position chords on a solid electric guitar rarely sounds very nice. But on a flat top, on the instrument made for that sort of thing, yeah, fine. Yes, we have as many frets on a flat top as we do on an arch top. Maybe not as many as you might have on a Fender Telecaster, but um, the sounds up here, in my opinion, are not as medolic. Medolic? Melodic. As they are down there. But we have these magic things. Um, and just to demonstrate that business, I'm going to play, I'm going to go daring here. Slightly out of tune, but never mind. This is a song that'll play in C. dance with me Molly it's a Saturday night I'm gonna stop there because it's terribly out of tune but I'm playing a G shape but it's a C chord um, and why because it is easier for me to play that little lick than it is playing it with a C chord down there so we've got the capo so we can play first position chords all over the place and I like to mix them up a little bit. But the chords that you're going to play on an arch top will be somewhat more complex. For a start, that's a G6. I don't know what that is. That's a D7, part of the C shape. But I'm putting a seventh in. I hope that explains some things for you. So it's time for me to put on some sensible clothes and take off a hat indoors, because that's bad manners. Happy trails. <laughs>